Hello and welcome back to the Flat Chat. I'm Heggy, here with Aaron, Callum and Jacob. Today we're doing our Game Week 14 predictions for the Premier League. We'll get straight into it with a half 12 kickoff on Saturday between Leicester and City. What a game to start the weekend. Very good game to start yes. the weekend. A Does few, anyone want to kick it off? A few years ago, that would have been the, the game of the season almost. When, off. when yeah. Leicester were pushing it, or when just Leicester were a top four side. Oh, top side, especially at home. Yeah, especially but, at home. But Callum, you you were saying that I don't know if this was your Arsenal bias, but off camera you were saying that you think this could be a drop point. Yeah. You'd, right. I'm gonna play this. The way I'm gonna play this is <laughs> because we are doing a score po- a point system where we're actually getting points for what we get right. Yeah. I am 100% not going for an upset, Poor. but it would not surprise me. I just feel like this has got a, an upset on so the cards. So, if City win, you're like, yeah, I predicted that. But if Leicester draw or Leicester win, you're like, I knew that was going to happen. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be stupid So, you're here. just, I'm s- you're winning regardless here. Yeah. He's basically going, I'm that is both sides. So I'm, what I'm, doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing it. But I think Man City will win this game. 2-0, but I also think Leicester might draw like 1-1. Okay. But yeah, difference there. Put in yeah. brackets Callum's other score just to give him. <laughs> no, because no, if it's if I come if it's right that it's one one Leicester, I can then go. Well, I should get the points for that, but I don't get anything for it. I'll so go. No, I'll get take two now. Yeah, I'll go next. Yeah. I think it's going to be two one to City. Two one. Oh, yeah, okay. I think Leicester have looked decent going forward the last few weeks. Madison playing really well. Vardy yes. as well. Oh, I should have gone for what you just said there. But oh well. Adam, uh, I'm. I like that shout. Obviously. It could be either way. I could see it being a two 0 or I could see it being a two one. I don't think <laughs> Leicester. I don't Nobody think Leicester is. are gonna. I don't think Leicester are gonna win the game. Of course, I'm not gonna go for the upset either. It's not a unique well, score line that you're going for, no. Uh, I'm going to go for two one. Does a shock. I think Leicester are getting better. However, I think Man City are the best in the world, and I'm gonna go three 0 Man City. Ooh. Okay. They've had three away games in a row without scoring, so they've been saving them a lot for this one. No yep. Haaland though potentially. Oh you're right, Man City would be dreadful. Oh. Leicester are gonna win four 0 oh, they did win the league <laughs> to be fair last year. But no, no Haaland. Alvarez is it makes it difficult for fantasy more than anything, let's be real. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. Bournemouth v Spurs next. Um everyone predicted a Spurs win, except yeah. me last week. And they didn't win. And did I'm gonna follow suit Newcastle again. Win, oh you did. Go, you're going suit again? I am not having a Spurs win again. Yeah. I think they've looked incredibly poor. They drew in midweek again. I think that's going to hurt them as well because they thought they won. Um, I think. <laughs> I think. I think this game's going to finish one all. One each. I do. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm not going to be as bold as you, Heggy. But I think this actually is probably quite bold with the way the Spurs are playing. I'm going to go for a narrow win, and I think they will win it late, like they maybe could have, or well, they probably think they should have won against Sporting Lisbon the other night. So I'm going to go for a two-one win to Spurs. Uh, I think that you're right they have been poor um, I just see them getting points on the board though here yeah fair enough uh, uh, I'm going to go for a 1-0 to Spurs again oh, I can see that as well Spurs, mm. Spurs you can as, see mu- as, mu- as much as much as they've not the particularly Oracle looked great and I you put uh, <laughs> Jacob's seeing mask already Jacob that you think 1-0 as well no I don't no. no, but yeah, I, I think as Teddy said, Spurs haven't really looked particularly great. I think there's been a lot of talk about obviously Conte. You know, has his side burnt out? Like, is he running out of ideas tactically? Sack him. And Bournemouth, <laughs> Sack him. and Bournemouth are pretty tricky to beat when they're at home in that as well. So I think Spurs will get away with the points, but I think it won't be a very convincing performance. No, they're a full crowd in front of what eleven thousand. Yeah, vitality. <laughs> hey, listen, sm- small stadiums in that as well. Even look at like so, uh, it's not it's I, bigger I, I than that, like Selhurst Park. In that as well, like they could provide intimidating atmosphere. Because he was rambling, man. You guys oh. missed what I said. I did. I heard you. I, well, I heard a little bit. You would have react, you'd have reacted and gone, "Oh, Calm, you silly sausage." No, I, heard, I heard. I heard that, <laughs> I was just. I was. Just, but, no, even just Adam, didn't even Adam didn't find you funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to think I could do Parkhead, but it's better. Uh, we're going to pretend that Calm's not made it. Goodison, that's smaller. You're, you're <laughs> digging. You're absolutely digging here. They've clicked off, but I'm going for Spurs to Bournemouth now. Yeah, Harry Kane double. Oh, I'll take this that. Boy, I think he's captain this week. So. This boy fancies Harry Kane, man. He's so good. He's so, so good. I haven't had him in, obviously. Yeah. No, I mean, you're so, so good. You had to start with the <laughs> smelly game of the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Dreadful v Wolves. We'll start with Aaron this time. There we go. Um, looking at the form of both teams recently, I think this has a one each draw written all over it, I think. Wolves aren't, Wolves aren't particularly great away from home. Brentford aren't particularly, haven't been that great in the last couple of performances. 
Uh, so I think this is one each. I think both teams will be. I think it'll be a bit of a struggle for both teams to really do much in terms of. I agree with that, and as you are the oracle of knowledge, Aaron, I'm going to agree with the one-one draw. The one oracle draw. of knowledge. Uh, I be voice crack there. Right. I think that Wolves are potentially or have potentially been the worst team in the league so far this year. Yeah. And I am going to therefore back that up by saying Brentford are going to win one 0 Fair. Yeah. And I think it's crazy that you have predicted a Wolves goal. <laughs> no, I, mean a Wolves <laughs> I was going to go nil nil, but they, I just didn't see them. Five goals or something for the season. Yeah. <laughs> I think Brentford are going to bounce back from the pumping last week with a two 0 win. Oh wow! Both going to be from Ivan. Right. He's on first name basis. Yes. For Tony. <laughs> Should see him in my ultimate team. He is Defoe's first name basis. <laughs> <laughs> right, Brighton v Chelsea. El Portico. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good part from you. Yeah. Take yeah. notes. Right, you down. definitely should be taking notes. <laughs> uh, I'll kick us off here. Yeah. I think Brighton have looked as though they've played decent football since Potter have left, but the results have not shown that. Yeah. They still can't finish the ball. That is their main issue. Mm-hmm. They are the XG merchants. <laughs> I think they're going to win on XG here. But I think they're still going to lose the game. And I think it's going to be 1-0 to Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Amex not the easiest place to go. Yeah, so. uh, I echo everything you've just said there, Higgy. Um, I do give Brighton a goal. I think they'll make this 1-1. And Chelsea, just like Spurs, will win it late to make it 2-1. I like that. I'm going to back that. I, I think 2-1 as well. I've, uh, I've tried to be original, but no, uh, so that was good. I'm going to lean more towards uh, Heggy's side of the argument. I think Brighton, of course, as we know, XG Merchants, as Heggy so aptly said, I think this will be, even even with Chelsea's form, quite easy for them, I think. I think it'll be 2-0 to Chelsea. Fair yeah. enough. I like that shout as well. Right, Palace v Southampton. Callum, kick us off. Ooh. Two teams that are That's better just... to watch than their results show, I think. I, th- I think that's a good point. Southampton especially when they've got all their players fit. Yeah, I that's think, true. That's very true. I think Palace are brilliant to watch, but just somehow, sometimes just, uh, like, to bring it up against Everton, they were rubbish last yeah. week. Pumped by Everton. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I think they're going to bounce back, though. I was to? on the fence there. with I was not giving Southampton a, a, a win. win there. No. Uh, I, I don't... I, I, I might come back to bite me just like I did last week. Then they get, I went for 3-0 to Arsenal against Southampton. <laughs> But I am going to give Palace the win here, and it's going to be a narrow two-one win. Is it? No, it's going to be a, it's going to be a two-nil win to Palace. Sorry. That's all right. Sorry. Ah, Jacob. For Higgy. Uh, I liked your first shout of two-one. I see Che Adams. Being, I can't believe he didn't start last week. He was scored. Oh, well, he scored the winner, and then three days later, didn't only came off the bench. He was injured. He had a knock. Jacob. <laughs> well, he still he was good enough to play, fit enough to play. He, was, he had a knock and he yeah, didn't want to yeah, risk him. Yeah. Just, he said in the interview the game, sensible. saving him for the they Turkey the friendly com- next month. Oh, yeah. That really important friendly. The <laughs> commentators <laughs> mentioned it about four or five times if you've been watching, but he was two playing. One. When you're not, oh, you were out with the off. You were watching it. You should have known that. Two one. Uh, he's, he's just moving on quickly. Two one, Aaron. I was in the pub. I did not hear the commentary. Uh, I am going to go two 0 as well. I think currently Southampton are doing the Hassan who will keep his players fit challenge. Impossible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think this will be one where Palace bounce back from the disappointment of the last couple of weeks. I think, I think yeah. in front of Selhurst Park, they'll be pretty. They'll be pretty solid. Do you know. Um, I'm not going to go for a Palace one. You're going. To draw? I'm, I'm going to draw. One, I one. think. Both teams have been equally as good this season and there's been a lot of draws in their games. So I'm going to go for 1-0 in this game. I like what you're doing, Eggy. You're going for the differential this week. I need to. Yourself. I could leave the it is, It's very interesting. You're, you're really risking right it. He's bottom. And he's, uh, he's, re- he's, he's really risking it. He's either going to crease the gap or he's going to get himself right back in amongst it. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, it's all or nothing to you. Yeah. Okay. Arsenal it's a bit, bit early to do that though, I think. But... <laughs> get, then I've got more time to claw myself back. Yeah. And then go Am- that, Am- oh, Amazon. Yeah. Oh, this guy he knows his game. He- Heggy or nothing coming to Amazon Prime. Fair, 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 fair. fair. Yes. Sponsor us, Amazon. Right, Newcastle Please. Villa. New uh, manager for Villa. New yeah. manager for no. Villa. Good evening. Emery is not going to be in the oh, dugout yeah. oh, for this game. Is he not? Yeah. I, f- I was going to start the video. Good evening. No. And I forgot. Oh, we can, we can start the oh. next one. Good evening. Yes. Okay, this is. Oh, is it tough? Hopefully, it's like it is tough. I think because Villa got a very good de- review on. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. Villa got a very, very good result yeah. this week. The thing is with Newcastle though, is 
that they're defend getting so much better defensively. Oh, that's so so Eddie Howe went over to Spain to learn from Simeone. I think I heard that the other day. That is crazy, isn't it? So he learned from Simeone on how to set up a defence properly. Well, and that's why basically, basically, basically he went to Atletico defensively Madrid. better. He went to Atletico Madrid, which is defence FC. That's what Limit was saying. But thanks, Adam. Cut in. Uh, cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are you predicting? Oh, I was going to go 3-2 and then I, th- I remembered that. That was a bold <laughs> shout. I know, I was going to go crazy. I feel pretty... <laughs> yeah, oh, they're really solid. 5-4. <laughs> <laughs> Six each. <laughs> Right, uh, <laughs> I will go for a 3-1 win for Newcastle fair a lot of goals I don't know uh, I'm not going to be quite as bold as 3-1 I'm going to go 2-1 Newcastle what a biatch shut up <laughs> <laughs> I'm going 2-0 simple simple to the it point it won't be exciting I think Newcastle will just get the points I agree with that I think it'll be 2-0 fair. I think Newcastle are just too solid for them yeah, yeah. Phil and Everton Jacob can Everton follow up a brilliant win by getting their second away win of the season against a really good Fulham side? Seven from the table. I oh, I think yes. <laughs> I think they can do it, and I think they will do it. And I think it will be two one. I think Calvert Lewin's came back. You guys were obviously impressed with him as well, as you call him affectionately call him the donkey. I think he's back. He's the only thing he needs to prove to Southgate to get in the squad is that he's fit. I think he's definitely good enough. I think he's better than Tony. I do, I do, but he needs to prove it. There's no point me saying it flat chat. He needs to, if he scores again, then it's it's a game that he can score against. We've got players that are on form. Two one. Rough. Hey, game. What are you going for? Um, you gonna have Everton a goal this week? I'm that's getting, that's what I was wondering. Fulham leak goals, but they also pound them in. I'm going three two to Fulham. Oh, that's a good game. That is an I was going similar, but I'm not bold enough to give anybody the win, and I was going for a Desmond two two. I like it. Uh, Desmond too too. Um, um, basically, I'm in I'm in the line for a draw as well. I think these are two very evenly matched teams, and that as well as Peggy so rightly said. I am going to go for two two. I think. How yeah. on earth have we given an Everton game more than three goals each? Because of last week. That is mental. Last week, one, one game is just completely upside down. Out our minds. Well. I think I've been. Generous to Fulham giving them a goal when I've got Maldini and yeah, Fulham <laughs> scores so many goals. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they've scored twenty two. Mitrovic has conceded yeah. twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is bullying those defenders. Yeah, like Tarkovsky. Aye, yeah, but, but he's Cody. Just, <laughs> no, Tarkovsky. Just trying to line them up. Tarkovsky and Cody get done by pace, but they don't get bullied. You can't have other people biting on like when I'm trying to say that. <laughs> I think they actually. Do. I, think, I genuinely think he does bully them. I think so. I'm not saying it then. I'm just saying it was a bit of... I don't know. I, See, I, d- I didn't it. think it was bait because I thought it was just correct. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Aaron kicks off Liverpool v Leeds. I, as much as I would love to give Leeds a really, really good result here at Anfield, I'm not a delusional man. Like, Are Leeds you have, sure? <laughs> <laughs> Leeds have not been in very good form recently and obviously there's been... Oh, really Liverpool been are good a good bit up and down but I think for as up and down as they are they should get a 2-0 win over Leeds here, I think. Leeds lose this, that's five losses in a row. Yeah. That's the thing, they've actually... Mark said that he's under pressure. I think they've actually well. outperformed the team that's been playing in XG. Which is, again... We're, we're like Brighton... Showing that they can't put the ball in the back of the net. We're like Brighton, we're XG merchants. Yeah. Yeah. You do league goals with the type, type of football yeah. you play. The even, battle Jews. That's like, they, like they lost what's it matter I know that I'm proving yeah. his point it was only in the second half is what I mean they, they battered Leicester I've as well. said it since the start I don't think that Leeds side are that good they then obviously won a couple of games and were like top six and I was getting told that I was wrong but no we, I, we I, were still, massive. We were I still don't think Leeds are that good I see Liverpool pumping them I'm going to go 3-0 I'm going to agree with Aaron here and I'm going to say 2-0 yeah. I think if this was a daytime game it would be 2-0 but because it's it really late at night I'm going 3-0 and I think Anfield at night is just yeah. different Liverpool players we are, okay. are more used to playing night games than Leeds players fact uh, yeah there you go. definitely that. yeah, that's the sort of knowledge that you get yeah. so 8 Ars- games on the Saturday that's exciting yeah Arsenal v Forest on the Sunday. Callum predicted 3 0 last week. Are you going to be as bold this week? Not quite. I'm going to bring it down a goal. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give us a 2 0 win. Yeah. Football is a great humbler. I th- yeah. yeah. Uh, so you're only saying 2 0 win. We have we have been poor in the last couple of weeks. And it's not just we have been getting the performances other than Southampton and uh, obviously it's PSV but before then we were playing poor and getting the results yeah. those 1-0 wins but we were not we're, as I said we weren't looking great um, 
I expect us to bounce back here off Jesus playing. He says next time he plays, he's going to score in the league. I was going to say he played tonight. <laughs> no, but he didn't. Aye, but it's not like Next time start, aye. I am going to. I am going to be bold. I'm going to think this is going to be corporate bullying on a football park. I think it's going to be three 0 Arsenal front of the Emirates. I think this will be a really good bounce back for them after the Southampton oh, and the PSB game. They need to put on a show. They need to. They need, exactly. Yeah, they, 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 they need to put on a show, back. and I have faith that they will. I have a lot more faith that they will. To be fair to Forest, though, Forest haven't conceded in something like three weeks. Yeah, and that included Liverpool. So, you know, the defence are looking week. better, but they're not at home. They're yeah. so different at home, yeah. tell me. I yeah. am going to say something slightly controversial, possibly, that I think this win for Arsenal will be very typical of their season of it's a fixture that's came at a good time, it'll get them back on track, but really, is it that impressive beating no. Forest at home? But, not really, yeah. but it'll look good and it gets them the points. But I'm going to copy Aaron with a 3-0, but I think... Arsenal, yeah. not top of the league. Arsenal should be hoping to be a yeah. Forest 3-0. In, fa- in, in fairness, sorry to interrupt you, Nicole, but in fairness, I think it's one of those ones where it's like, you know, these are the teams that you have to beat. Like, as You can only beat the teams that are obviously in front of you. And I think, you know, if Arsenal want to be ambitious, they still need to be able to yeah. prove that they can beat the Forest. No, he's, the- he's been perfect. He's put it perfectly there, saying this is this game might come at the perfect time yeah. just to get Arsenal back in a back off and you're like, spot on. But that's I couldn't have said it better myself, Jacob. Well done. You're proud of yourself. Thanks. <laughs> look, how, look how proud he is. <laughs> Peggy, prediction? Um, I think this is going to be a pumping. Yeah. I think Arsenal, as you said, need a bounce back. And they're going to do it in style with a 4 0 win. Ooh. 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 The last big prediction for an Arsenal win went poorly in this right. None of us have given Forrest a goal. Here we go, 1 1. Still date, second worst goal scoring team in the league. Exactly. Not the third worst def- yeah. defensive one. Well, let's hope we're all right. Yeah. Let's hope so, we're all right. Man United West Ham, last game of the weekend. Probably our match review. Is it the Monday night, though? It's the Saturday, Sunday. Oh, four, yeah, because Arsenal's at 2 o'clock. No, yeah, there's no Monday night because the Champions League and all that about yeah. next week. Well, it'll be Man U or Arsenal, do you think? Probably Man U. Oh, we'll be doing the Man U West Ham yeah. game for sure. Yeah. So, Man U West Ham, I'll kick us off. I think West Ham have started to look a wee bit better, but I don't see them winning at Old Trafford. No. Man United have been very good at narrowly winning these games. Yeah. Um, One tonight. Did they? What was the score? Well, they were 2 0 up with eight to go. If they've somehow bottled it, then I'll look Who were they did. playing? Uh, do we do the live VAR check? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was not a moaning out, and it was they were not, at home. It's not Sauce your dad. So it was the fourth team. I don't know who that is. Carabag? Sheriff could be. Oh, Sheriff. 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 What a man. That's what I man. This guy just knows. Uh, I'm going 2 1. I'm also going 2 1. It's, I, just, it's the score that we just seem to go Man United. Yeah, 2 1. Yeah. I'm going to third that and go 2 1. <laughs> you, know you know what? Just say it. Just say it. Peggy, 2 1. There hey, you go. It's a full That's house. the way to end it. Are we putting the sco- table up or will that be done? Uh, the Heggy's ball. Yeah. Should have it up. I'll just comment it again. I don't mind doing that. I was going to say, come back in a few weeks. How, if far, <laughs> how far off everyone else are you? Oh, it's only three points. It's only three points. Like there's one bad, one bad. How, I want to really see. How, where am I? What am I doing? Am I kicking away? You're the one. Who's, oh no, you're six points. Oh, me, it's Jacob are level. There's yeah. only twelve points between everyone. It's yeah, still it's tight. Right. Definitely, it's, right. it's still very Stu tight. Stu could still finish last. Oh, that's, that. that's who we all want to finish last, isn't Realistically, it? Realistically, yeah. He's not going to because he I just keeps I, cheating. And I don't want to do bay. last. Who do you want last? He doesn't do it. One of us I'd, three. So I'd, I'd, oh, Adam yeah. would be hilarious. I, I just want it to be one of us four. Yeah, I think so. I agree. I agree. So we can get the video out. Yeah. So we just we'll just keep giving them just be extra. Just give keep giving them the extra points when no one's looking ahead. Just doing Jamie. Is that still the reason they're ahead? Otherwise, yeah, been Corruption on this YouTube channel. <laughs> so yeah, you gonna wrap this up, Peggy? Yeah. Thanks for watching. That's been our predictions for game week fourteen in the Premier League. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and comment any video you want to see us do in the future. Take it easy. And take, take it easy. Take it easy.